So far so good, we only reached two uh, bars for this prank meter and the only thing we can do right now is to do the third prank for Jean and some other commissions that I haven't done yet. <laughs> But the good thing is, I have a lot of more for this one. I guess I should buy one outfits for now. And then the next thing I'm going to do right now is the to do side quest for Rosaria's um, advertisement commission after what happened for the previous video. But uh, hey, at least she gave us a warning for that one. Okay, Sister Rosaria, I did it. I know you did. I could hear you all the way from here. I needed you to be discreet, meaning quiet and reserved. I'd be surprised if Ileoe didn't hear you screeching your nonsense. Despite your failings, we have had a small uptick in our customers today. Next time, you need to be discreet and clear. Sure thing, Rosaria. Sure thing. New... Hmm. New scene. Hmm, I guess I'll check that one now. Later. Alright, Jean, now I already made fun of you on the first prank and the second prank, now it's time for the third prank. But somehow I'm a bit concerned about this outfit for her, but <laughs> let's just get all out on this one. Let's do this. So this is the new hot spring that's opening up. It's so pretty. Clee can't wait to come and splash around in here. Oh, it's a school swimsuit. Okay, interesting. Ah, it's Jean's bathing suit that she always wears for swimming. Clea felt a pang of guilt in her chest. <laughs> it's really cute and she does look pretty in it. I know we need to get Jean to loosen up, Nodoka, but is this really a good thing to do? Like, if I swap it for this teeny tiny bikini that I got it from Hootie, so many people are going to see her on TV. Maybe even a bajillion. Um, Alright, I, I, I completely understand your reason, Nicole. Yep. She'll be super embarrassed, but you wanted to get revenge on Jean after what she'd done to you. Like, getting into the solitary confinement for something, I guess. <laughs> Okay, I've decided. We can just go back home and not prank Jean today. Aw, okay, she's a good girl. She's a good girl. We are going to do the right thing. Maybe Jean and Klee can play together nicely in the hot spring and Jean will forgive Klee for fish blasting. Hmm, that's a good one. Okay, let's go. Wait. What's that supposed to be? <laughs> Right, Donoko. It's on. Time to get rid of this dump old swimsuit. Mr. Kai said only a nun or a prude will wear that thing anyway. <laughs> Much better. No clee allowed? I'll give you no clee allowed. Well, time to go home and watch TV, I guess. <sighs> Where the good of mons that? Oh. Jean, we're on five minutes. Okay, I'm going to change. Jean walked into her cubicle where she left her swimsuit and towel earlier that day. She felt comfortable wearing her swimsuit, knowing that it would cover anything the audience could find distracting. Plus, the fact that she would either be wearing her towel or under the water in the spring for most of the broadcast made her rest easy. Until... What in Barbados? <laughs> Where's my swimsuit? Despite looking high and low, she couldn't find it anywhere. Oh boy. <laughs> Jean, one minute and we're live. Th th there has been a mistake. W we need to cancel. Just hurry up and get out here. Oh, nice. Once that. <laughs> Honestly, very creative. I like this one. Keep on going. Greetings, uh, citizens of Mondstadt. I hope you're well indeed. Oh. <laughs> yep. As a communication arts student, this is exactly what we're gonna do on the workplace and stuff. The producer look at his watch and signal for Jean to move on. Ah, yeah. Time's running. Better quick. Oh, I, dig I digress. Anyhow, as Grandmaster... 
Oh no. <laughs> it's now my duty to go and test these healing waters. As tradition dictates. Okay, she's kind of nervous right now. <laughs> I can totally see that. Damn. <laughs> Could we cut here? The producer gestured angrily at Jean. Oh no. Y you don't understand the situation. Uh, my swimsuit. Jean, we're still alive. Go and test the spring. It is the duty of the Grand Master to test the sacred waters. As Vanessa did before me. Oh. There she goes. Jean moved towards the spring slower than she normally would have. She lingered knowing the broadcast was a limited time slot, the end of which was quickly approaching. <gasps> yeah, I know. I know. <clears throat> Alright, you better come for this one. You're on live TV, Jean. <laughs> wow. Just wow. The Grand Master uh, uh, approaches the Sacred Spring looking truly, truly wonderful. Mm. Nice angle you got there. <laughs> Just hearing the bubbling of the Sacred Waters is c calming to the nerves. Oh, what a pleasure it is to be here on this special day. Oops. In her nervousness, Jean's microphone clarity to the ground. Uh, uh, okay, I know this is gonna happen. Oh, just take all my money! Oh, not this soon! Not this soon! Ah! My apologies. Well, at least it isn't, it isn't broken. Mm, okay. <laughs> I can honestly say that I can feel the presence of Vanessa here with me on this day. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. I can totally see that. Her grace and poise were... Jean stopped as she noticed the entire group staring at her. What is it? The producers gestured wildly at Jean's nip. <laughs> there you go, cover that up, cover that up. Okay, good. Good one. Good. Well, uh, what a day it's been. We were planning to invite some of the men who helped to construct the facilities here, but it looks like we've run out of time, unfortunately. Thank you, Grandmaster, for... Ah? Uh? Oh. <laughs> Hang on a second. Hang on a second. I think I remember this scene before. <laughs> that was kind of suspicious, but damn. Last reference you got there, death. <laughs> Four men quickly made their way over to Gene and the hot spring. Their packages at... <laughs> uh, oh, uh, hello there. Oh, no. No, no, no. Hi. The man reached over and touched Jill's shoulder casually as he greeted her. P -p please, please, just don't. She left his... Uh, okay, next. Jean's head was beginning to spin from the heat of the spring, alright. Oh uh, no, the producer could see what was happening and signal for the ready to end the broadcast as fast as possible. <laughs> well, this, that is all really all we have time for today, I'm afraid. And, oh no. Hey, Grandmaster. Uh, hello. Yes, thank you for tuning in today, and be sure to visit the Mondstadt Hot Springs. Oh no. Yes. Third prank, success. <laughs> and there goes Kali. I saw Miss Gina TV though, Doko. I think the bikini made it way more interesting. Finally. Mm, hot spring unlocked. Good. And we got nine more pranks left. These pranks should visit Jean up nicely. But I still have work to do. Oh, a new commission is available. Okay, let's see. Alright, so I gotta have to buy more outfits for this one and then the junk shop. Okay, good. So, investigate the monster. Hey, what kind of monster was it? 